How did g Easy become financially free? We're going to talk about that in this video. Starting with some background, g Easy, born Gerald Gillum is an Oakland, California based music artist who would go on to growing a loyal fan base which led to investment opportunities down the road. The Me, Myself and I rapper found his way to making millions from hit songs while building that fan base through more personal topics. I actually have seen g Easy live and let me tell you, he sells tickets Tickets. Selling tickets and influence is a big factor that come into play to grow his music, which led to his investments. Let's dive into each revenue stream. Going into music, g Easy has released 18 plus projects throughout his career, which have sold over 4 million copies. g Easy has had multiple projects sell over 100,000 first week. His most recent album, These Things Happen Too, had lower album sales at only 19,000 first week. g Easy has a acknowledge the low sales saying there will always be lows but that will not stop him from moving forward he has some investments outside of music which is needed to have after the spotlight is gone still though i don't think these low sales will last and i do think there is more in the future g Easy's debut label album these things happen is a platinum record he also has 13 other riaa certifications achieving platinum status can bring income in the long term a major income stream for g Easy easy is touring and he has no problem selling tickets selling tickets for shows is a big indicator of influence g easy makes at least 100,000 per tour stop and some tours have over 25 stops that's 2.5 million per tour and he frequently tours like i said in the background i have seen g easy live co-headlining a tour and he does bring in fans and sells tickets now let's move on to my favorite section and that is investments in 2017 2017, g Easy invested in the liquor company Still House Spirits. The investment made sense for him at the time and his whiskey brand could be found promoted in some of his videos. g Easy is an investor and sponsor in the cannabis company Flower Shop. In a Forbes article, g Easy mentions the plan to grow into three physical locations while having merchandise sold in other stores and online. In 2020, major investments came from the Halo Collective which puts the company in the spot to take over the market. Recently, g Easy and other music artists invested in the personalized NFT company Yat. Now I find this interesting because the company allows users to create a personalized NFT of themselves in emojis that can be put on popular NFT platforms to showcase and sell. The plan in the future is to create a universal identity on all platforms. The company is currently growing at 60 employees now and I am excited to see how this grows in the future. This leads me to the question, what is next for g Easy? Recently, he has had lower album sales, but I do think that will pick up with the right sounds and marketing. He is someone who has been a hit maker, and I think there is still more to come. He has pillars set in place to keep him financially free. I think his investments in Flower Shop and Stillhouse have room for growth. I do want to see how the Yet investment develops over time. Funny enough, I do think there's an interesting concept there. I also think there will be more investments in startup and established companies based off the income he has built up. Up from music. What is next for g Easy? More financial growth in different income streams. In summary, g Easy found success by sticking to his sound and brand, which brought him influence across his fans. It's important to remind people that ticket sales are a big indicator of influence, and g Easy has no problem selling tickets. As for investments, g Easy has some seeds planted that are growing, with more on the way. He has been preparing throughout his career to keep him covered, in his words, through the highs and lows and that is how g Easy became financially free i hope you found this video informational if you did please leave a like and subscribe as well as let me know who i should talk about next thank you for watching have a great day